Hello guys, how are you all doing? Hope you are all having a great day and a great weekend. So today I am going to talk about aperture. So the first question which comes to our mind is what is aperture? Aperture refers to the opening of a lens's diaphragm through which light passes and enters your camera. It is calibrated in f-stops and is generally written as numbers such as 1.4, 2, 2.8, 4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16 and so on. The lower f-stops gives more exposure because they represent the larger apertures while the higher f-stops gives less exposure because they represent smaller apertures and how does this vary is shown in this clip. Aperture also affects the depth of field. Depth of field is defined as how sharp or blurry is the area behind your subject. The lower the f-stop, the larger the opening in the lens, the less the depth of field and the blurrier in the background. The higher the f-stop, the smaller the opening in the lens, the greater the depth of field and the sharper the background. Now the question is where to find the aperture. All the lenses have a maximum aperture and all Nikkor lenses list the widest aperture on the lens panel. Some zoom lenses will detail something like f3.5 to f5.6 on the lens barrel or 1 is to 3.5 to 5.6. These numbers, the 3.5 and the 5.6, are referring to the maximum aperture or the widest opening the lens can achieve for each end of the zoom range. Some higher end lenses can maintain the largest aperture throughout the entire zoom range, so only one number is detailed. Now the question is choosing the aperture. For classic portraiture, we separate our subject from the surrounding by using selective focus. Choosing a larger aperture, lower f-stop value like f2.8 creates a very shallow depth of field with only the subject or just a portion of the subject in focus. This helps direct the viewer's attention to the subject. Various landscape or scenic photographs and stunning long exposure photographs can be taken by having a correct knowledge of aperture control. Hey, thank you guys for watching my video. I am new to YouTube and trying to create some quality content. So I hope you like my video. Thank you for watching, do hit the thumbs up, then subscribe and share.